What do you mean? What do you mean? What's going on, my lovers? My name is Don Marvin Landry, and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well. Go ahead and give me a high five. So good to see you here today. Let's play a scary game. I don't have anything else to say, so let's do it. This is a game called Down Here, where we're exploring a bunch of sewers because apparently we heard creepy noises or something. Here we are, though. Press I for hints. I don't need hints. Okay, here we go. And already, we're off to a great start because there's a freaking skeleton in here. And I have a stamina bar. We all know what that means, right? Why can't I go in here? Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I do need a hint. Oh, there's a note. Never mind. If anyone ever finds this, my name is Daniel. I've been sent down here to check for the source of the unusual noises reported by some of those houses who are connected to the sewer system. Anyways, there's something down here. I could sometimes feel it rushing against my legs. My buddies told me it must have been other people's junks. That was two days ago. I haven't seen them since, and now I'm starving. We got separated by something I could barely see, but I am certain now there's something something out there in the sewer. It's only a matter of time until it gets me, like it perhaps did with my co-workers. I can't open the gate. There must be valves to raise the water level. Turn them all on and the door will open. Why don't we just call the police and let them deal with it? Apparently we're brave boys and we are going to take justice into our own hands, find the valve, and turn them on. And there's a monster down here with me. That's a valve, okay. How do I turn this? There we did? Yeah, I did. Well, we got one of the valves. Now I want to get two losses. This is technically a maze game. And... What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, whoa, big guy. <laughs> okay, we're running. So there technically is something down here. I hate maze games. That's what I was trying to say. If you know me, I hate them. How close is he? The footsteps sound like they're very close. What do you mean? Is there two of them? I'm so confused right now. I think it's just the one. Oh, another skeleton. Ah, shit. Get a dead end. Oh, there it is! I mean, it's kind of slow, thank God. I have no idea where I'm at. This is gonna be a pain of an edit. Oh, wait, there's a note. Hold on, monster, I gotta read this. I've been able to hear it running past me through the corridors for hours. The fear almost kills me. Twice I thought it was over when I saw it in the front of me in the corridor, but then it went on and didn't notice me. We were trapped down here and there was no escape. Okay, so we can lose it? Is that what I'm getting? Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm done. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Get boned! Oh, what a dummy. What a big dumbass. All right, well, I gotta, I gotta find some. Am I back at the beginning, maybe? Yeah, because here's another note. I think the one that I ran by. There's something down here that is chasing us. It already got one of my friends, and we got separated from the other two earlier. It chased me down the sewer. At first, I only heard its cry echoes from the walls. Then the splashing of the enormous footsteps as it I ran for my life. Eventually, I managed to escape this thing. I'm scared and alone. It might have been two hours, maybe two days ago. I lost track of time. My hands are still shaking. I'm hungry and scared. I, I fear that I will never be able to see my family again while they search for us. Cry seems to be a sign that it has spotted a victim. If you can just get away from it far enough, you should be able to escape unless you run into a dead end. That's false because I've already done that. And I juked his ass. If you can hear its splashing footsteps, try to get as far away as possible before it gets close enough. Stay away from the sources of unusual sounds. Good luck, Simon. Thank you, Simon. You must be the developer of the game to know all of that. And now he's chasing me again. I just want to know the lore. Why is there a big creature down here? And so far, we're doing terrible. I only have one of the valves. Oh, more. I think I'm the last one left. All the others are dead. First, we were separated from Simon and the new one. Poor boy. Only had been here for two weeks. Won't be 20 yet. After that, I was alone with Paul for a few hours or more before it got him to. I was able to escape, but sprained my ankle in the process. Now I sit here and wait for my certain death, which is not much worse than being able to run away or at least not being alone. I just want it to pass. How did these guys turn to skeletons so quick if the monster didn't even get them? Like, it takes time for a body to decay. So if the monster didn't get him, how long has he been down here for? There we go. We're at two of four. Halfway there, baby. And it's time for me to get over my fear of mazes. 
It's a very good map layout, I will say that. Okay, three of four. Oh, the water is raising. It is surely raising. Uh, I gotta find this last valve. Why do I feel like it's still back here? Actually, I only got one of them over here. Maybe it's back at the beginning? What do you mean? Oh, 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 look at him. <laughs> He's so slow. Watch this. We are going to juke the living madness out of this guy. He's so massive. Ooh. <laughs> Screw you, man. Yo, I might actually beat this game without dying. That is such a plus for me, considering I die all the time in these kind of games. Oh, no. I'm not even scared. Okay, maybe I am. Oh, was oh, that it? No, I've already hit in that one. Let's see if I can juke him. Can we be able to juke him. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so it's not down there. Maybe I take a left here. There we go. Got it. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know how on earth I am running this fast covered in sewer water. I must be a track star. Did I make it? Yeah, I did. I did. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, very interesting. So that was down here. A little bit of a subtle horror. Honestly, I've been looking through Itch.io and there's not too much to play besides holiday Christmas games, but I kind of want to steer away from those now that that's done. But if you have any recommendations, let me know down below as well as your thoughts on the game. Let me give you mine. I mean, all in all, this is a maze horror game which i mean how many times have we played that before but i really appreciate the story the lore that the developer attempted to put through this because it just makes the the audience and the players experience with it so much better when there's a story behind it instead of just pointlessly running through so i really like that aspect i think the creature is creepy i know it can't be perfect but if it mentions that if you hit a dead end and you're screwed and you can still somehow run past him i don't know i feel like maybe that should be sharpened up a little bit if the developer would go back and fix a couple things i think that's something the developer can work on because it is all in all too easy to run by him but as all maze games i like how you can't you don't know where you're going it's a mystery it's something new every time so i really like that all in all this was a pretty decent game and i enjoyed it i did if you enjoyed it, leave a like. It really helps me know that you guys are enjoying these type of videos. Check out my other video in which I was actually put into a game. And it's not Cap, I promise. The developer actually put Don Malove and Landry in a game. I will link it at the end of this video. But truly, thank you all so much for watching. We only have a couple more days left in 2021. We're moving on to bigger and better things in 2022. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you, my lovers! in the next video.